Science is completely central to everything we do in life, including the fact that I'm sitting here in a room in Sydney and you're watching me in your lounge room wherever you are. It's fascinating and exciting stuff, yet scientists are dismayed at falling government funding for research and the struggle to persuade young people that science is a great career choice. Somebody who's trying to change that is Professor Brian Cox, a British television superstar whose series on the universe try to make science accessible. He's in Australia shooting a series at the moment and he has a new book, Wonders of Life, due out next year. He joined me in the Sydney studio earlier. Brian Cox, lovely to meet you. It's good to be here. You had a career as a pop star and now you're a professor in particle physics. How did this happen, keeping bad company, obviously? Well, yeah, actually, I mean, I'd always wanted to be a scientist, particularly an astronomer, actually, from as far back as I can remember. So all the way through school, I just knew I was going to be a physicist. But then about the age of 15 or 16, I decided I wanted to be a pop star. It wasn't as if I was a, a musician, who. so I, I taught myself to play, really in order to be a pop star. And it's this dream that you have when you're 16. And accidentally, it happened for a while. So I had a brief break and then went back to uh, university at the age of 23. When we report a story here, say on the discovery of the Higgs boson mm -hmm. particle or on a space shuttle launch, there's always so much interest. People love watching those sorts of stories. Mm -hmm. Why does that not translate into science being one of the most after glamorous careers? Well, uh, I think that's it's beginning to change, certainly in the UK, actually. And there's a serious point here, which um, one of my heroes, Carl Sagan, always used to make, which is that we live in a society that's based on science, right? Everything we do as a, as, as a civilization has grown out of science. And yet, the, as you say, the, there's a history of it being seen as a niche subject. And particularly, you know, not as many children would like to go into science. I mean, I've, I've always thought that science is too important to be not, not to be...